staff, classmates, members of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Phil Thalase and Ms. Catherine Vonnegut, Superintendent Dr. Jeff Harding, and Associate Superintendent Margarita Navarro. We are also fortunate to have our new superintendent, Dr. Nellie Meyer, with us today. My name is Sanjana Mishra. And I'm Gershon Aurora, and we are your Masters of Ceremony for this evening. Before we begin, can we get a huge round of applause for the wonderful graduating class? Tonight, we would like to acknowledge Dr. Jeff Harding for his 35 years in the field of education. He became the MBLA superintendent our freshman year, and it seems appropriate that he's retiring and finally graduating with this class. We wanted to take a few minutes to reflect on what made these four years so memorable and celebrate our class, the class of 2019. Although we lacked in the spirit department and lost a lot of class competitions, we have grown together as a class over the past four years. For example, we've had iconic senior talent show performances. And also consistently dealt with inconsistent Wi-Fi. We've walked in solidarity against gun violence and climate change. And in order to walk the least amount possible to class, we've also parked illegally and suffered the consequences of tickets. Sometimes we didn't pay attention, choosing to play games during class instead of working. But we've always paid attention to each other as individuals, valuing different cultures and celebrating the differences in our annual Diversity Week festivities. Regardless of what they may be, our experiences at Los Altos High School are the reasons we proudly stand before you today. Class of 2019, we are here today to celebrate our efforts, achievements, and learning moments. From meek freshmen prone to walking into wrong classrooms to confident seniors who often miss classrooms entirely, we've learned the lessons about the importance of hard work, friendship, resilience, and patience. These valuable lessons will stay with us for the rest of our lives. This evening, we are on the cusp of an entirely new chapter of our lives. But remember, once an eagle, always an eagle. As we leave, we'd like to extend a huge thank you to the staff, faculty, friends, and family that have helped us throughout this process. As a class, we would not have been able to reach this collective milestone without your unconditional support and guidance. And now, William Tinajero Noriega will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Graduates and families, please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Remain standing through the band and concert choir's performance of America the Beautiful. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
now be seated. Principal Wynn Satterway will address our class. Good evening. It is a pleasure to welcome you all to this year's commencement ceremony for the class of 2019. First, I would like to acknowledge a special, special member of today's audience, Dr. David Yoshida. Dr. Yoshida is a member of Los Altos High School's first graduating class, the class of 1958. And tonight, he is here to watch his grandson graduate from his alma mater. I'm sure that if asked, Dr. Yoshida would tell us that a lot has changed over the last 61 years, including here at LAHS. While the address on Almond Avenue remains the same, the school colors were blue and gold, the mascot was the Knights, and the school served local residents of Los Altos and Los Altos Hills. With the closure of the old Mountain View High School in 1981 and the redrawing of attendance boundaries, Los Altos High School became the Blue and Gray Eagles and began serving a larger, more diverse student population. We all know that change is inevitable and it's a part of our journey that combines both loss, progress, and growth. Most of the students sitting behind me were born in 2001. And while many things happened during that year, the three that significantly changed their world were September 11th, the introduction of the iPod, and the birth of Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm sure that many of you in the audience know exactly where you were when you heard the news of the attacks on September 11th. Our world and our nation's consciousness were forever altered on that fateful day, from presidential elections to global politics to how we actually get on planes. Personal technology gave us the access to data in the palm of our hands, starting with the iPod and leading to the smartphones of today. No longer tied to computers, radios, TVs for information and entertainment, these devices allowed us to individualize our consumption of digital media. The information revolution, exemplified by Wikipedia, provides access to seemingly unlimited information, ideas, and opinions with just a few keystrokes or voice commands. While making our world feel smaller and more connected, this level of information exposure can be daunting and overwhelming at times. To our students, September 11th, the iPod, Wikipedia sounds like artifacts from ancient history. But they are, in fact, precursors to the types of change that echo through today's headlines. Like other generations before, this generation has been marked by fast-moving changes and anxious times of struggle and uncertainty. Do these changes and the daily headlines they produce mean that the world is more dangerous, less healthy, more conflicted, or just the opposite? Is the world that Dr. Yoshida graduated into better or worse than the world our seniors inherit? According to Steven Pinker, author of Better Angels of Our Nature, if you look at the data on violence over the last century, every form of violence is in decline, from genocide to deaths due to war to violence against women. However, challenges like climate change and global social unrest certainly still exist. While many factors have shaped this class's current reality, these same factors have also provided an opportunity for these 514 seniors to help us make progress. This class has been called upon to think about the future of our state, of our nation, and our global community. They will apply what they have learned in our classrooms about the use of passive voice, the polarity of electricity, the calculation of probability, and the skills of civic engagement. One thing this class has clearly learned is that public committed acts are the key to creating change. After the school shootings in Parkland, this class stood up, walked out, and voiced their concerns about gun control and school safety. They joined forces with students across the nation to send a clear message that gun violence must stop. They marched to Mountain View City Hall in defense of DACA and the Dreamers Act and spoke passionately against the unfair immigration policies. They rallied to support the Green New Deal 
as their generation faces the real consequences of climate change, poor air quality, and drought. They also brought to light the needs and safety concerns of LGBTQIA persons on our campuses and in our community. In short, this group of students is addressing issues that they did not create, but they will creatively solve. They will speak up, stand up, and engage. They are current leaders who are equipped with the strength of their convictions, the knowledge that they can make a difference, the courage to act, and the hope that the world can be a better place for everyone. Hope is a critical factor to their success. Hope engages us to remain optimistic and to approach challenges with an open mind, to see the bigger picture and to be more creative in our problem solving. Former President Barack Obama shared this message about hope. Hope is not blind optimism. It's not ignoring the enormity of the task ahead of us or the roadblocks that we may face. It's not sitting on the sidelines or shirking away from a fight. Hope is the thing inside of us that insists, despite all evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us if we have the courage to reach for it, to work for it, and to fight for it. Hope is the belief that destiny will not be written for us, but by us, by the men and women who are not content to settle for a world that, as it is, but who have the courage to remake the world as it should be. As the members of the class of 19, 2019, I'm going to get that right. Get ready. Woo, that had been a long time ago. As the, as the members of the class of 2019 get ready to help us build the world that can be, I know that we all feel more confident in our collective futures because these young people are willing to look at a challenge they face and the opportunities to create a better world. They will stand up for what they believe, show up to support each other, engage in finding solutions and creating change, and mostly remain hopeful about the future they are creating. Congratulations to the class of 2019. Each year, senior students audition to address the graduating class. The speakers are selected by a committee consisting of faculty, administrators, and students. After much deliberation, two seniors were chosen to share their thoughts. Please welcome our first speaker, Brayden Cook. Friends, family, faculty, and fellow classmates, good evening. The class of 2019 is before you. If you look closely, each one of us is like a new book in a great library. We're not bestsellers yet, but we've had a few good reviews. <laughs> we have unique histories and ideas of what our next chapter will be, but we're still evolving. Our stories are still forming. Our books, our lives, are not finished. I, along with this diverse and enthusiastic and talented group you see behind me, have had many unforgettable experiences here at Los Altos High School. Personally, some memorable ones for me include many near-death experiences from a speeding golf cart, <laughs> the adrenaline rush as I raced furiously to the lunch line, the Wi-Fi that has a mind of its own, <laughs> and being blasted in the face eh, 444 times in the early mornings by a leaf blower. <laughs> but some early chapters of our lives can be humorous, but there's also a time to challenge ourselves and be unconventional. Now, someone who wasn't afraid of challenges was Beat Generation author Jack Kerouac. He wrote, when writing the story of your life, don't let anyone else hold the pen. I sincerely believe we've learned many important lessons here at Los Altos High School. Some things we've learned are to be yourself, to think for yourself, to be responsible for yourself. We need to hold our own pen as we face our future and as we make mistakes. The future, while scary for some, is an exciting adventure for others. Every story is one of a kind. Although knowing the 23rd president of the United States or the capital of Finland may appear on some Scantron test, 
Los Altos has prepared us for life's tests. Los Altos has given us the courage to speak our own minds and, and to fight for what we believe in as we are tested in this world. We can weigh our own options and make our own decisions. I ask my fellow classmates to be brave enough to make mistakes, to hold the pen yourself. It's up to you. Sure, maybe you know that Benjamin Harrison was the 23rd president and Helsinki is the capital of Finland, but <laughs> remember this. We eagles leave this high school's nest not just as another bunch of smart kids. We depart with a solid first few chapters thanks to the support of our family, friends, and teachers. May we, the authors of our own books, the makers of our own stories, bravely put the pen to the paper and continue writing our own bestsellers. Thank you. Thank you, Braden. This year, the Main Street Singers traveled to Nashville and performed a repertoire of American folk music. For 34 years, the Main Street Singers, our premier vocal music ensemble, have performed at graduation. Please welcome the Main Street Singers under the direction of Miss Bridget Doss Johnson as they sing Not to, sing, not to Say Goodbye. Our final speaker is Elise Wynn. I was always the shortest one in every single one of my classes, from preschool to eighth grade. And because of that, I had always felt small. On my very first day of high school, I had grown to be five feet tall. But standing there in that sea of loud, excited 14-year-olds, I was so intimidated. I had felt smaller than ever before. 
until later that same day. In my very first class of high school, before the bell even rang, I heard the guy next to me go, wait, is this not Mountain View High? <laughs> and as I watched that guy sprint out of our classroom, the only thing that I could think was, well, at least someone's a little more clueless than me. <laughs> During brunch, I saw a countless number of confused freshmen wandering around the quad, trying to figure out where the 400 wing is. And on that day, I didn't feel so small anymore. This school is the first place that I felt like nobody was looking down on me, metaphorically at least, because really, we were all clueless. But over the next four years, we started to get it. We knew which school to bike to in the morning, and we knew exactly where to go for third period. And over the next four years, we learned some of life's most valuable lessons. In Mr. Smith's classroom, we learned preparation, because if you wanted a chair to sit on, you needed to have your book and a pencil out right at the bell. In Mrs. Miyahara's classroom, we learned that you can be as strong and as fearless as a soldier, while also being one of the kindest and most gentle people on Earth. On the sidewalks of our neighborhood, we learned that our words and our actions carry true power, and that finding something that you care enough about to stand up for, to walk out for, is life-changing. On this very field, we learned that spike ball is really hard, but it's fun, and it's worth it to sometimes fall on your face if it meant that you dove for the ball. And over the years, we grew. I'm five foot and three quarters now. <laughs> College is just around the next corner, and I have to say, it's really intimidating. The thought of being that confused, frenzied freshman again is really scary, and I'm worried about feeling small again. But I know that because of these past four years, because of our experience trudging through months-long research projects or watering our bean plants with tears of frustration because you're on your fifth bean and it's just not growing and you have to pass apes to graduate, <laughs> we'll be ready for the next four years. But I don't want us to be so caught up in the excitement of starting a new season in our life that we forget exactly where it is that we came from. So when you sit here today, squinting in that bright, bright sun, praying for my speech to be over soon, don't forget to give yourself credit for everything that you've achieved. This was our time at Los Altos High School. It was confusing, and it was stressful, and it was really, really hard sometimes. But it was absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Elise. Ms. Satterwhite will now present the Eagle Award. This next award is presented to students in the senior class as a way to acknowledge not only the work done inside the classroom, but the work they've done outside the classroom. The purpose is to honor the students who envision, create, and embrace community. Through the academics taught in our classrooms, we believe that our students are learning and practicing what it takes to be strong community members. The Eagle Award is presented by the administration to the graduating senior, and or in this case, group of seniors who have demonstrated outstanding scholarship, leadership, and citizenship throughout their four years here. As always, it is very difficult to narrow this list down, but tonight, five students stood out among their peers in their dedication to building a better community. Would Kaylee Gould, Luis, Luis Mendoza Ignacio, Marianne Quispe, Ben Rubin, and Tegan Tumeray, please join me on the podium. to extol the individual accomplishments of these students, but the sum of their impact on the Los Altos High School community is greater than any of their individual contributions. These five students have demonstrated outstanding scholarship as measured by grades, teacher comments, 
test scores and the ambi ambitious future plans that they have made. Their impact on the world community will be far greater than anything they have done here. And what they have accomplished here is amazing. They have demonstrated their leadership in athletics, in AVID, in the Latino Student Union, dance classes, class council, clubs, and community outreach. In each case, they lead by example and character, never asking their peers to do something they weren't willing to do themselves. They represent the kind of service through leadership that is at once modest and inspiring. They have been stellar citizens, not only on the Los Altos High School campus, but also in the greater community, where their leadership has provided opportunities and changed lives. A community is best defined by the people who choose to step up, get involved, and create a better environment for everyone. Kaylee, Luis, Marianne, Ben, and Tegan have taken on this challenge. Through their actions, they have made Los Altos High School, our local communities, and the world a better place. They represent the best of what we value here at Los Altos High School. We are extremely proud of these five, and we will miss them next year. Congratulations to all you have accomplished. Best luck in your future. Would you please join me in another round of applause for our, for our 2019 Eagle Award winners. Members of the Board of Trustees for the Mountain View Los Altos High School District, it is my pleasure to certify that the students seated behind me have successfully completed the MVLA district requirements for graduation. Board members Dr. Phil Felace and Katherine Vonnegut, Superintendents Dr. Jeff Harding and Dr. Nilly Meyer, and Associate Superintendent Margarita Navarro will present the diplomas to the class of 2019. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, Mr. Russo and Mr. Hine will read the graduates' names. We will be acknowledging students who have earned a GPA of 4.0 and also students earning a graduation with honors, which means a GPA of 4.5 and above at this time. Aiden Brown. Martin Cooper, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Casey Herbert. Robert G. Augustine Salazar. Tamar Asar. Jerry Lopez. Amir Tadros. Rafael Huesca. Jamshid Mistry. 4.5 graduate with distinction. Marvin Sisena Ayala. Kyle Marino, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Luis Zuniga Vasquez. Jerry Zhang. Esdras Diaz. Winston Zhu. Samuel Martinez. Brittany Giselle Abarca Arias. Alexis Torres. Nicole Gabriela Martinez Cibrian. Isaiah Lorenzo. Joanna Cuevas. Julian Rodriguez. Lisbeth Rios Camacho. Adam Gallas. Sarah Zuswarege. Connor Quinn. Jeanette Macias. Clark Webster. Yuriana Rosas Juego Inser. Juego Inser. Natsumi Hayashi. Ryan Gauntz. Pei Lee. Gregory Roper. Oliver DeVisser, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Eduardo Hernandez. Jose Marin Mello. Alec Hoffman. Jacqueline Owen. Abigail Adams. Jennifer Padilla Avila. 
Julia Casares Iglesias. Anayensi Favela Tofoya. Rushil Aurora, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Aaron Zachs. Yeah! Seung Choi, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Max Conti. Yeah! Benjamin Wolf. Tomoyuki Yoshino, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Trevor Lambertson. Grant Nieda. Yeah! Colby Pham. Ferris Yurtson. Rick Ko. Yeah! Julia Kolstad. Sean Huang, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Haley Holt. Alan Guo, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Rohan Ahuja. Yeah! Henry Ying. Jasper Meggett. Aaron Shea, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Brian Pop. Oscar Bjorkman, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Isaiah McPherson. Justin DeKille. Mario Lopez. Oz Anderson. Baruch Ortigoza. Evan C., 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Edgar Barajas. Zoe Lapole. Juan Marin Mello. Lauren Poindexter McCann. Lisbeth Leon. Sydney Lee. Christian Lani. Me? Ishan Parmar, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Nicholas Eric Gomez Gibson. Henry Lai. 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Rian Lawler. Sid Iyer. Leonardo Sis. Noah Tesfai. Hey. Shujain Wu. Alex Pavlidis. Kevin Liu, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Peter Ko, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Jackson Hoke. Rebecca Pristovac. Charles Shu, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Layla Dasuki. Hunter Liu, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Camille Blanc. Kevin Gao, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Catherine Jacob. Matthew Haley. Benjamin Cornell. Dave Adams. Tyler Buer. Robert Navarez Martinez. Kabir Wagle. Brian Chavez. Toby Fuchs. Ari Guzman. Brandon Fan. Marianne Quispe. Ryan Kelleher. Keenan Bruner. Abigail Hurst. Oscar Mendoza Morales. Owen Conway. Maria Cesario Gabriel. Christopher Shell. Ethan Yenny. Kai Mos. 4.5 graduate with distinction. Christopher Emig. David Hidalgo. Jarrett Fowler. Dale Sims. Garrett Johnson. Rash Rachelle Galindo. Maddie Jun. Kendall Goto, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Matthew Cremu. Celeste Tram. Axel Fernandez. Joshua Contreras. Tyler St. Laurent. Ryan Baum. Juan Angulo. Matt Liu. Fernando Sia Saavedra. Valerie Ma. Persia Zufanun. Sophia Huang. Jaden Capuletti. Gavin Stockton. Ali Donovan. Oh, Alexis Tagagi. 
Tanya Sangani. Karuna Duran. We're off. Krithika Nathamuni, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Ella Carlson. Lisa Larson. Lauren Wang. Elaine Sanchez Guadarrama. Alexandra Conrad. Diana Ruiz Hernandez. Amanda Chan. Crystal Lim Limon Cruz. Regan Luis. Lewis. Sorry. Axel Rodriguez Hernandez. Kenneth Derryberry. Christian McDermott. Lonnie Fan. Nayman Tut. Isabel Martin. Cameron Pfeiffer. Jamie Reed Kerr. Leah Guzman, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Julia Missoni. Lily Beck. Anthony Aguilar Camacho. Rosa Usitalu. Nishad Naik. Max Baylor. Henry Muller. Drew Gugais. Luis Mendoza Ignacio. George Poppets. Kawaii Wu. Cole Brazil. Leon Lin. Andrew Huck. Miguel Tepepa Bolaños. Hunter Lunsford. Jesse Castillo. Jack Klecko. Chloe Christensen. Nicholas Fletcher. Elijah Comfortola. Harry Allen. Leslie Sandoval Alcazar. Jason Sandel. Osvaldo Ariano. Weston Ferry. Esmeralda Bolaños. Ben Parker. April Benito Martinon. Michaela Gregorios. Mariale Daphne Bailon, Bailon Olivas. Jennifer Reyes. Selma Lubarski. Savasti Danielas. Rebecca Dos Santos. Isamu Awoke. Victor Albert Sotela Rodriguez. Catherine Lim. Salvador Lee. Nicole Nguyen. Sebastian Montebello. Archangel Kara. Hernan Ruiz. Kay Radford. Eduardo Batista. Rochelle Golub. Lisbeth Golub. Rascon. Catherine Radcliffe. Cesar Villa. Chi Tran. Edgar Rivera. Jamine Poon. Ulysses Romero. Brooke Bettinger. Madison Wu. Diraj Gudipati. Rachel Chang. Tanshi Mohan. Padmini Rajan. Nagar Bagheri. Samuel Sainert. Daniel Adams. Rachel McGean. Hannah McGean. Jacob Texler. Oliva Rivera. <laughs> Ferris Atasi. Romel Medina. Christopher Tu. Vanessa Velasquez Cortez. William Sherb Schubert, excuse me. Sylvia Cortez Hernandez. Dilip Kumar. Annie Tran. Nicholas Fauche. Jingchen Yang. McKinley Pol Poland. 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Sorry. Me? Benjamin Rubin, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Kaylin Hu. Peyton Feldman. Emma Kwan. Jinwoo Kim. Ashley Kai, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Robbie Catchman. 
Shringala Chilari. Noel Hansen. Bellin DeShooter. Jessica Chin, 4.0 graduate with. Mateo De Silva White. Kyle Nero. Emilio Rios. Austin Townsend, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Alexandria Warren, 4.5 graduate with distinction. McKenna Cahan. Brendan Gutierrez. Tia Mollerstedt. 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Matthew Heyman. Annabelle Yunkman. Karen Vardy. Leah Gaylord. Alexia Stabile. Ethan Ho. Charles Coe. Marco Aman. Adrian Rangel. Leisha Noor Mirthi. Stephanie Cisneros. Serena Ramde, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Kelsey Silguero. Sarah Bodmer, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Dennis Flores. Yang Shin Xu, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Alejandra Kilkate. Catherine Chua. Melissa Ariano. Claire Chang, Brandon Johnson, <laughs> Kelly Tan, 4.5 graduate with distinction, Mackenzie Posey, Karina Alevi, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction, Claire Wells, Owen Mackenzie, 4.5 graduate with distinction, Iris Chavushalu Hansen, Krista Tanetti. Daisy Herrera, Ethan Keeling, Ellen Speesons, Hannah Calhoun, Sujin Lee, 4.5 graduate with distinction, Hasmik Galstian, Catherine Houston, 4.5 graduate with distinction, Robin Watson, Priya Dixit, 4.5 graduate with distinction, Kyra Uchpinar, Lyra Ukita. Ramella Sagatellian, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Naomi Donovan, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Julian Vega. Julia Yin, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Jasper Herrera Godinez. Kiora Engelman. Hudson Jones. Noah Mejia Mendez. Kirsten Harkins. Avine O'Gorman. Noah Carlton. Athena Vivo Galdemez. Adeline Zweisen. Oliva Rivera. Braden Cook. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Lucas Rodriguez Baquero. Corinne McCabe, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Bennett Rosenberg, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Caitlin Wong. Ashlyn Sandoval. Danielle Carter. Shauna Hoy. Kaylee Gould, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Sean Rose Ridgeway. Abiri Arato. Lauren Eaton. Nima Shahidi. Juan Perez. Abraham Kynard. Lojin Young. Rosa Alejandra Ramirez Lopez. Jacob Bayer. Vanessa Abigail Cirilla. Cirillo. Lakpa Sherpa. Onia Arami Bolaños. Nevo Shaked. Tegan Tumre, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Jonathan Martinez. Bethany Seifert. Jason DeVerde. Janelle Flores Saldivar. Axel Garcia. Edalia Lopez Martinez. Jason Garcia. Nayeli Rodriguez Nova. Brian Gonzalez Flores. Emma Rosen. 
Christopher Cardoza, Jessica Borgon, Antonio Acosta, Francesca Stepanov, Alexis Munoz Yepes, Tyler Polson, Jeffrey Vargas, Alexa Hamlin, Catherine Upton, Connor Cook, Lilia Cotarell, Chris Lewis, Claudia Herbert, Miriam Karsh, Cassia Engelman, Amber Gao, Kenneth Galsgaard, Sushwen Hu, Maria Bektachivia, 1.4.0 graduate, 4.0 graduate with distinction, Juliet Slicer, Oliver Craven, Charlotte Glenn, Emily Solomon, Anna Gerchanovsky, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Marina Aginski. Zoe Bryden. Amy Truscott. Jade Meng, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Ritika Shetty. May Wong. Isabel Aceves. Karena Olson, 4.0 graduate. Natalie Gray. Rava Panda. Amber Liu. Cynthia Yi. Madeline Birchler. Leah Lowe. Jaden Kennedy. Ashna Desai. Emma Van Guns. Anya Gupta, 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Tanaya Veach. Richa Krishna, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Mitchell Keita. Lucia Pajoli. William Tanahiro Norahega. Francesca Seni. Kieran Lachun. Anais Dulanio. 4.5 graduate with distinction. Suki Dakin. Ashley Luck. 4.0 graduate, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Adrian Rowe. Arushi Lakan Paul. Henry Tompkins. Sanjana Mishra, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Nathan McLeod. No, it's okay. N Naya Verdier. Mateo Torres. Joseph Burgess. Benjamin Shell, 4.0 graduate. Richard Meng. Cameron Crows. Henry Wang. Leon Su. Sarah Halverson. Roberto Camacho. Johannes Oberhaus. Skyler Riordan. Andrew Moe, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Emily Cocking. Yang Hwan Kim, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Julia Torikoff. Zay Lee. Catherine Busa. Jinwook Kim. Fernanda Garcia Osegada. Abigail Massell. Emily Mungia. Noah Master. Mariana Martinez Serna. Cherilyn Lee. Ivan Amaya Amaya. Emily Cheng, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Karina Shaw Chavez. Addison Locke. Melissa Martinez. Sharar Syed. Desiree Medina. Aditi Madhawk. Marisol Villa Garcia. Adrian Mitchell. Matthew G. Matthew Durr, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Zachary G. Andy Shi. A.K. Osborne. Julian Blaken. Kevin Leong. Mahika Gupta. Camille Thrall. Nina Hermosa Clower. Jennifer Rosen. Erna Basracharya. Arjian Unlu. Andrea Orozco. Evelyn Diego. Stacy Lopez. 
Ada Chung. Yesenia Lisette Garcia. Nicholas Borda. Caitlin Musavian. Rebecca Swarnovsky. Sarka Sethi, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Anya Sharma, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Luis Anguiano. Caitlin Nakano. Jacqueline Wong. Angel Arevalo. Simon Burdick. Sivagami Palaneapan. Evan Leong. Ananya Venkatraman, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Cody Theobald, 4.5 graduate with distinction. Miyuki Ozawa. Miguel Tayag. Brianna Mishner, 4.0 graduate. Emily Aronovitz. Gershon Aurora. Yalda Kodadad. Seiji Shimizu. Jessica Carlson. Victoria Hausch. Grace Lilligren. Makada Yasela Laul. Liana Imina Ahern. Elise Nguyen, 4.5 graduate with distinction. It has been a privilege working with you for the past four years. And we, the Los Altos High School community, wish you the very best. Congratulations to the class of 2019. like to invite all of you to meet the graduates in the quad and where they can pick up their diplomas. Please allow graduates to go out of the main aisleway. We'll see you in the quad. Thank you very much.